Well, more Rhode Island schools are reevaluating their own security measures following the tragedy in Newtown, Connecticut. Coventry Public Schools announced they are implementing an action plan which include restructuring school entryways, issuing ID badges, and installing surveillance monitors. Now, meantime, Cranston schools are also adding security. Eyewitness News reporter Jennifer Mobilia spoke to parents in Cranston. She has the details from our newsroom. Cranston parents were emailed a notice letting them know there would be increased police presence at their children's school. In the wake of the Connecticut school massacre, Eyewitness News has learned Cranston police, the Cranston School Department, and the mayor's office are beefing up police presence at all 17 Cranston elementary schools. I'd rather have my child safe, um, and I'm sure all the parents in Newtown who lost their children wish that they were around, and I just think it really um, sends a message to the students that they're safe. In an email to Waterman Elementary parents, on Friday, the school's principal said a uniformed officer will visit Waterman daily to familiarize himself herself with our school students staff and administration and parents we spoke with say they like the idea I don't want it to be able to scare the kids or anything but I don't mind it because um, you know it's increased security for them and with everything that's been happening around the country you know it's always good to have an extra presence here so that you know we we as parents can know that their kids are safe School officials say a specific officer will not be stationed in every school. Rather, officers from the force will rotate and canvass the schools. That way, all of the officers become familiar with all of the schools, the neighborhoods, and the kids. To have a, uh, an officer for safety is, you know, I'm not saying a swarm of policemen, but uh, I mean, a, an officer walking the campus would, would be reassuring, I think. Now again, Cranston officials say this is just the latest effort to increase safety in schools and in the community. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Jennifer Mobilia, Eyewitness News.